Alright, shalom. God bless you. I'm share brother thumb. Brother thumb. Um. I'll say, well, first of all, all praises and glory. Call halal Yahweh, Bashi, Mioshai. Alright, Tabba Allah, Sir Allah, and Apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers, them in the highways and byways doing this work in all sincerity and in truth. You know, this is your brother Yahweh once again. Alright, with us, Wando. With us, not so long coming from, from, from off the road, is it? But, that's one you think that quick um lesson here because um this step on the spirit you know, since since um early since night we've been having conversations because when they come from class we've been having conversation about um spirit or or growing in a big camp you get me me um and I say maybe this is not pretty say throughout our camp or say amongst our brothers but it could be amongst more camps and amongst other brothers you see me so i just want to do the lesson here i hope it edifying you get me this is pertaining to the local day sickle of spirit where brothers would have right our brothers some brothers are developed or some brothers are go through right and um you know it's always good for have other brothers come and help out other brothers or other brothers um reprove other brothers you get me because it's always good to know that yo a brother have your back or not say have your back but at the most of everything pertaining to the lord yo because the mere fact that a brother go to you or reprove you for something it simply means say yo you fall short or something and the lord I dry up it's just that the lord used that particular brother to do it yo you get me because um as me that explained earlier to our brother say oh the mere fact that you go you go to um the mere fact that you'll go the mere fact that you'll be thinking of a prayer or you, you want something from the lord and the lord know what you want before you even ask it because of him put it in your spirit for asking right it just go for sure say anything you say or the lord put in your mouth you get me or the lord ordain if you say what you say point of me that I try to prove upon that is Jeremiah Jeremiah 1 verse 5 and um say oh before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou comest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations so before before you even come upon the earth if you do anything really or before you even born the lord already set him order or set plans for you yo. you get me um then said i is it me then said i so okay let's see we can get some yeah so lucky yeah. so um you get me so the point I'm trying to make is uh basically the Lord already ordained you for be a prophet among the nations before you even born yo. So the Lord already make plans to know what you're gonna do before you even do it. You see me? Then said I um Ah Lord Lord um God behold I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee. thee so, like, yeah, saith the Lord. So, even with, 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 with um, being out on the highways and byways, be amongst us, you see me. You reprove the two third, or you get at the two third. You reprove a brother, you get at a brother. The Lord ordain it, yo, and the Lord spirit there amongst us. You see me? You judge everything spiritual. So even if you see a brother fall off just a little bit, and you draw him up. And the Lord I do that, yo. Not not per se you, but the Lord I do it, yo. 
the Lord give you what you say or show you what you say or make you see what happens so you can even see what you say yo. you understand me the point in verse 9 it says oh, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me behold I have put my words in thy mouth you see me so that for sure say yo anything at all where you think we even think say yo are you or anything like that and are you are the lord the lord do everything you understand me the lord program if you go to a brother and so he has to tell our brother so even if you say something where you might not even notice or you might not even see or anything at all and you just bring it out yo or the spirit it's all about the spirit the lord put that spirit in you yo for so or do you do you understand me this is Job. This is Job um thirty-three and fourteen for the most I speak sp um the most I speaketh once, yea twice, yet man perceiveth not. So the Lord talketh once no but twice, but man still not understand, you see me? In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, then he then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. So the Lord basically from from your guy bed and deep sea fall upon you. The Lord instruct you for the way you go the next day when you get up. So the Lord raise you up the next day. Uh, make you do what you do. Say what you say for the day ahead. Right? The Lord program you for do that. So when you go and reprove a brother or so, man, even the elder apostles, yo, them come and them attack out. And, and elder apostles to her would have point out, say, yo, brothers be lacking in spirit, yo. You see me? It's not per se elder apostles to her try to get at anybody, yo. And the Lord, because guess what? You have, you have one particular brother or you have a hundred particular brother, if 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 so, or, or, or more, get cut from the one statement there while watching video. Get cut from that just that one thing. You see me? Because the Lord set it up that 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 him ordained Ella Apostle for said at that particular moment. Because him have some him have brothers when he when talked out there, yo. You get me? So anytime a brother get reproved, a brother get reproved and him try find excuse or try shrug off him him reprove. You have, you have to check yourself, yo. That's not a good spirit. You see me? Because basically, the Lord will speak to you. And if the Lord will speak to you, and you go, and you go, and you go, and you go spit in him face like that, shrug him off, or, 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 um, or turn away from that, yo. You need to check yourself. That's not the right spirit, yo. Even if you're not wrong, you take the fall. You get me? There's a reason why the Lord appointed it out, yo. You don't know what you're doing until you stop doing it. You ever hear that saying there? You don't know what you're doing until you stop doing it. It's something similar to that, yo. So you're supposed to always check yourself. When a brother talk to you about something, it no might have a fall upon you per se, but it's a reason why the Lord made the brother say to you. You check yourself. You understand me? Always rehearse this in your head. Yo, judge all things spiritual, yo. I always tell myself, I'm gonna tell people nothing happened coincidentally. You know, nothing named luck. The Lord already in everything, yo. And when a brother comes to a next brother and I talk to him pertaining to something, or yo, brother, you're lacking or something, you take heed, yo. And the Lord has speak to you, not that brother. You get me? And it goes to show that brothers are supposed to watch other brothers and wait till 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 shit gets sore. You're supposed to go out there and and, and um and um talk to your brother. The least you could thing happen, you you got brother yo realize say yo X X and Y yo brother you're not doing videos brother my sister yo when last you read brother something the Lord put that spirit in you to speak to a brother pertaining to something specifically you go to him, you see me. Something you're not, you're not supposed to even wait, yo. You see something happen, spirit jump on you. Don't, don't, don't try to call it, yo. You get, you get at it. You understand me? Um, this is, uh,
this is Ecclesiastes, um, Ecclesiastes 4 verse 8 there is one alone and there is not a second yea he hath neither child nor brother yet there is no there is yet is there there no end of his labor neither is his eyes satisfied with riches neither saith he for whom do i labor and um, bere bereave my soul of good for this is also vanity he, um, yea it is a sore travail two are better than one you see me that 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 that, that, that that's self-explanatory because they have a good reward for their labor you get me for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him up so it better when you have a brother what well, can 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 yeah yeah work with a brother you do videos with a brother you and the brother read together whatever the case may be yo you grow you grow better you excel you understand me because at the end of the day when you fall short for some particular reason or some strange reason at the end of the day you know what um, that brother can come and lift you up yo or help say your brother you are, you are slack off man see i did a video you come we'll do a video or something and help you up but the scripture say who want you that is alone you get me when you fall you're gone right down again if two lie together <laughs> yeah if two lie together then they have heat but how can one be warm alone yo not even lukewarm you get cold yo you see me after a while the spirit gone down because this world drains you of your spirit yo when they, when they be around brothers more often it build you it strengthen you you understand me and if and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a, th a threefold card is not quickly broken so guess what if two brothers um roll together and can help out them one another imagine three the scriptures say a threefold a three a threefold card is not quickly broken of course it's not Sometimes you see some coachy um co co rope. I saw a tree tree look strong them them rub together and it become a thick piece of um rope, yo. You get me? We can hold a cow or hold two vehicles together, whichever the case may be, yo. <coughs> you understand me? So it's always good to work with a brother, yo. Not for just see the brother go off and you start pre the brother when things get bad. Then you say, Oh, you know, say sometimes you need to step up. Do you get me? If you're not if you're not in 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 the right authority for do so, then yo you bring it you bring it you bring it up you 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 mention it or something, and if if it's not you then the most I will give to a brother that's in the right authority like me say or the Lord already and everything yo even when you when you need to say even when you need to do the Lord the Lord set it that's supposed to happen that way. Right. So when brothers work together, yo, things work better. For proof that you have um Proverbs twenty seven verse seventeen. Say yo iron sharpeneth iron. So a man sharpeneth his countenance of his friend. So at the end of the day, brothers, you need we need for, we need to pull together, yo. You get me? And this goes for me, yo. Like me said, this is a spirit when we say I go up and throw the camp. You get me? Not say my camp per se, you see me? But me see uh, happen to other brothers with we, we discuss how things are happening and me say yo this is something where you need to get addressed yo and I better it be addressed from now before it get too late yo. So at the end of the day me just hope say yo that video is edifying, you get me? 
And again, you want to say your call, halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, your Shai. The book and as to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers of the highways and byways doing his work in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom.